Hello there, so the Coruscant Guard gunship is one of my favourite recent LEGO models and that may only be because I haven't picked up the Ghost yet and I may definitely regret not picking it up for the May 4th sales. But one of the reasons is because of all this interior space which is free real estate for all of my clones. In fact, I have filled up my bag for this episode. I'm expecting to empty this out all into the back here but that's not the only region we can store our clones because we also have this nice little storage part at the front. In fact, you can open both sides of this ship and see straight through to the other side. So it shouldn't be too hard getting all of our clones in here. My only problem with this is of course, the single door is gonna be very awkward to work around. So I will have a fix for that at some point. I will come out with a modification to enable the double door. It doesn't look like it will be too hard. The hard part is trying to keep the integrity of the model because we've only got two Technic beams running up the back here and they've done an amazing job. It reminds me of Mando's playset Razor Crest. There was so much interior space in the main body of that ship and it's quite similar to the original playset Veneta all the way back in, I think it was 2012, where that had the gunners sliding in and there was quite a lot of room in the main body of that ship and hopefully we can fit as many clones in here. Of course, the record holder at the minute, I believe, is the ATTE. After this video, definitely check that out to see how these both compare in how many clones they can hold. And if you are new here, first off, hello there. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing for more awesome LEGO content. But now, let's see how many clones we can fit in the Republic gunship. So for this demonstration, I will be removing the wings of the gunship, which isn't too hard. You just grab a longer axle and make sure you can poke the one out because that allows us to see a bit better into the side of the gunship, especially through the camera. And as you can see, we do only have access to half of the door. So an easy thing I found when trying to fill your gunship is just to take out this one pin here and you reveal the whole of the interior. Of course, it doesn't look great for displaying or even playing with the model unless one of the doors of the gunship has blown off and that is a part of your story. But I think we're just gonna start piling in a bunch of clones. Let me grab a handful. I really do wanna make the most of this space. And what you can remember if you're doing this along with me at home is that the gunship is mirrored both sides. Now, a big problem are these plates, but we're not gonna modify this too much. We wanna know how many clones will be able to fit. If you pick this up from the Lego store, how many clones are you fitting in your gunship? So I think the best thing to do with the clone troopers are to only have one foot attached. If you've got a tile next to one, I don't know how clear it is from where you're seeing, but have one foot on the stud and one foot unattached because then you can zigzag between the clones and I'm not sure how close to the door we're going to be able to get but for any of your models you can always just shut the ship back up and see if it still fits just make sure you remember where the door is going and as you can see if we were to shut the door like that the clones do actually push into each other so as well as there not being many studs on the bottom of the ship we can't go within these two studs by the door. Now, I'll test later if we're able to sit some clones down there, but that gives us a nice margin of error to work between, and I've actually knocked over the first clone trooper already. But as I was saying in the intro, there is a lot of space in this gunship, and we could probably even get a few clones at the back, but there aren't any studs to hold them down. So I do think they could have just left the interior of this very stud heavy because not many Lego fans would have minded and we would have got so many more clone troopers in there but it's still quite good how many we can get you can see we are on to well including the two pilots we have one two three four five six seven and this is our eighth trooper and I'm afraid to say I think that's going to fill up the side so we'll see if we can get a clone sat down in front of them and we might be able to get a few more in. So once again, I'm just closing up the ship and seeing if the clones do stand where I want them. I think that we will be able to get a clone seated down. Let's see if they've stayed. They have indeed stayed. So we can up our total to at least 10, maybe even get an 11th one in here on the other side. Of course, these aren't studded down, but as long as they're in the gunship at the end of the day, 
that is all that really matters. So we've got 11 clone troopers in there and that is staying nice. So let's flip the ship round and see about the other side. Now I've given you a better angle so that hopefully you can see where these clones are going because you can see right in the middle here, we have half a brick gap where I'm hoping to be able to fit a clone trooper's helmet or at least the back of it. So hopefully what you'll be able to see here is I can get a clone in there and sandwich it with another clone on this side. If we put another clone on the studs, mirroring what we did on the other side, that should hold the 501st Trooper in place. And that takes our total up to 13 clones. So we're looking good at the minute, but the difficulty now comes with where else these clones can fit, because we could stand a few more up in the middle, but how are we gonna make this as efficient as we can? Well, if I tilt the gunship just a little bit, I think the best thing we can do is actually start to sit some clones down. That way, if we can fit a second one in the middle here, perhaps we can even back to back sit in and stand in. Switch between the two clones, just because the biggest part of them is indeed their helmets and there's not necessarily always gonna be the room for the both of them standing up. So 15 clone troopers in and we're looking very tight on space. So I think we'll be able to get another clone trooper sitting in here. The reason we can't pull this up is again because of the legs either side. You're not going to be able to fit the clone troopers arms and we're not going to be pulling it off. That is the 16th clone and we can continue mirroring what we've already done on the other side. So first off, we'll get this trooper in here and we might have to bend him forward a little bit, but rather than trying to push on the clone and knock all the other clones off because that'll be very irritating if we do have to go back to the other side, I'm just gonna push on the legs and let the clone lean whichever way he wants. So I'm pretty sure we've got about 17 clones in right now and I would love to know how many clones you've managed to fit in if you have tried it, because I'm sure like with all my other videos, there are different ways of doing it and you may have found another spot and we haven't even got to the front of the gunship. So we might be able to fit another one in the back and we will still be able to fit all our clone troopers sitting down in front of these ones. My only worry is because of this middle one here, we won't have the space for the arms of this clone trooper. Hopefully this video is in focus because I am recording this on my phone so I can't actually see what's going on. But we've got one more clone trooper in the front here and I can't even remember how many clone troopers we're at at the minute. So three sitting down, 14, 15, oh I've lost count. A quick head count brings me to 21 and then we've got 22, 23 which we will stud down just over here just to make sure some of them are in properly and 24 might finish off this back space of the gunship of course be careful when you are opening because you might have a whole flood of clone troopers falling out but i think that is in secure enough and before we continue on to the back of the gunship i just want to make sure this side fits in as well it should be a symmetrical build and Hopefully, I think there is a 212, or no, it might be actually this trooper's visor. So this trooper will be looking the other way, and there we go. The build is back in place. Let me just fix up this little gap here. And now taking a look at the back of the vessel, we can actually up our total to 26. If we can fit two clone troopers in here, if you have massive hands like I do, this is not going to be the easiest task, but thankfully, with the help of the camera, I can see right in there. And what I'm trying to do is just position two clones sitting opposite each other, which is definitely as hard as it looks. But hopefully once the ramp goes up, it will be holding both of these troopers in place because we don't want any troopers rattling around whilst we're swooshing the vehicle. So we now have 26 clone troopers. And as I said, once the ramp goes up, the troopers are secure. So that leaves only one section to fill and it is this section at the front. This is gonna be the hardest to access, but I think the best thing to do would be to try to pop out these doors at the front. So you are gonna to wanna to bend the Technic just a little bit, but once you've got that first bit out on the right hand side, the other side comes out quite easily and make sure you aren't popping apart the gunship. I'm pretty sure this piece just here 
isn't meant to come off, but sometimes I guess it does. I really should have written down how many clones we've got in there so far. I'm pretty sure we're on to 26. So once again, I only actually have 11 clones left to fit in before I have to start taking down some of my named ones. The first one's pretty easy, just goes in there and perhaps is the one controlling the two gunners. So it's nice to know that we do have the height to fit the clone troopers in. We can fit a second one down, down in the middle and you can see I'm not studying them down yet because I might move these around, but definitely feel free to stud yours down if you'd like. Now the next clone trooper we're gonna try and fit on the side here and once again, I have no idea if this is going to hold when we put the door back on because the mechanism for the door is actually just up here. So we might actually be better rotating this clone 90 degrees and leaving space for the door's mechanism. And that'll be a similar thing on the right hand side. We don't want to fill up that final stud and block the door from going back on. But what we can do is add another clone sitting in the middle. Perhaps now is the time to position, to properly press them all down. So I just found out the whole top of the gunship comes off and that is going to make it so much easier for sitting clones in. As you can see, we've got our clones in there now. And hopefully we will be able to position quite a few near the outside because as I said at the start of the video, I am aiming to get all of my clones in this vessel. We are working with 26, 27, 28, 29, 30th clone so Far. This is insane how many clone troopers we can fit in this vessel and once again that's not including all the troopers you can position around it. So we've got the 31st clone just sitting opposite from the one we've just placed studded in on the other side and we can definitely get another one studded on this close end. So, so if you are doing this actually I don't think we can get it studded in because of the trooper sitting behind. So this one will have to sit loosely there. We are once again saving room for the connection for the door, but it doesn't mean we can't have a trooper taking a nap just to the side here. Perhaps he will want to keep his feet by the door in case he needs to jump out in an emergency. So we have 33 clone troopers in here. There's another three the other side, bringing it up to 36, and that means I only have one clone trooper that doesn't fit. Now I've just fit the clones in the other side and we won't be able to fit all the clone troopers I had hoped for. This clone trooper will be able to stand up there, but we do have to turn this clone trooper around and stud him in at this position. So hopefully now I can fit the door back on and we are left with two more troopers to fit in the gunship. So hopefully we can find a space for them and I'll let you know what I find. So it does look like 35 is going to be the most amount of troopers we can fit in here just to prove that it doesn't get rid of any of the playability. You can still swoosh it around and all of the troopers will stay on the inside, even the ones that aren't pegged down properly at the front. And it does close up just like the original gunship does. You can see there is no gap between the doors there. I tried to fit these two clones in. There's actually a gap just between the doors and 
they kind of fit, but not if they're wearing their helmets. There's nowhere to store the helmets. I'm afraid they don't fit in the back here. If they did, that would be amazing. But you can almost fit 37. 35 is still a crazy number. That has definitely made me realize I need to buy more clones for the next one because we can't be running out of clones in these sort of videos. But I hope you did enjoy. Once again, drop a like and make sure you are subscribed so you're not missing out on more awesome content such as this. I don't know where we go from here. Let me know down in the comments below what ship you think we should do next. We've done the 8080, we've done the ATTE, we've done the Bad Batch shuttle, and I also did the fighter tank. Now we've looked at the gunship, I'm pretty sure the gunship smashes anything else I have in my collection. So definitely let me know what you think we should do. I'm definitely going to need to buy more clones beforehand, but eventually I'd love to see how many clones we can fit in the Disney castle. I think that could be an absolute fortress for clones. Oh, and we did the Hogwarts Express as well. I'll leave the playlist on the end card so you can check them out. Thank you so much for watching and thank you all for the support on the channel. And may the bricks be with you always.